All right, time to finish off with rapid reaction. A lot of topics in a little bit of time. Take it away, Drink. All right, baby, let's roll. Gi Giants cornerback DeAndre Baker and Seattle's cornerback Quinn Dunbar were both wanted in South Florida on four counts of armed robbery. What's your thoughts about this, man? You know, it's almost surprising that we haven't seen, you know, not to this degree, but we haven't seen more, you know, misconduct and, you know, criminal activity because these guys, you know, are subject to the, the lockdowns and the coronavirus um, restrictions just like everybody else. But uh, it goes back to, you know, the old saying that uh, you've laid out multiple times. Uh, I don't mind is a is the devil's workshop. So, yeah. 53-year-old uh, former Undisputed heavyweight champion Mike Tyson and 57-year-old former heavyweight champ Evander Holyfield are in talks for a trilogy fight. Would that interest you at all, Drink? Uh, you know, I, I wouldn't mind this as an exhibition. You know, these guys coming out there, you know, just hitting, you know, just kind of running around. Just, just because they're two legends. At the end of the day, these are Hall of Famers. They're legends. Uh, so I wouldn't mind that. But I don't care for it to be an actual boxing match that actually counts. I don't care for it. You you heard you said the ages. They're both past their prime. Uh, but listen, here's the deal. If they do decide to do something, if they agree to something, people will watch because they're two two legends. So that could be interesting. But I'm I'm hoping not to answer the question. Florida Athletic Director Scott Strickland said he's open to hosting professional sports events on the Gators campus. Are you in favor of this? Yeah, I am in favor of this. And just to an overall point, I like hearing this type of mentality as opposed to like a lot of people come up with reasons not to do something and keep this, keep some stuff locked down. This guy's mm -hmm. trying to be a part of the solution. And I really appreciate that. So props to the Florida athletic director. Recently, the pro football focus released its all decade team in which it had Russell Wilson 33rd on the list behind the likes of Gronk, Patrick Willis and former Seahawks teammate, Richard Sherman, a little low on the list, right? Yo, listen, I, I know Russell Wilson at this point is saying, I'm used to get, getting this disrespect. But come on, man. This, this disrespect, look, just look at some of the names. Of Patrick Willis didn't even play half of the decade. What are we talking about here? Like, Grunt missed so many games in the decade. You going to tell me Richard Sherman was a better quarterback than Russell Wilson was a quarterback during the decade? I, I just, I don't know, man. Um. Listen, the dude haven't missed many snaps, if any, throughout the decade, then put up great numbers over the last decade. So, yeah, man, this is massively disrespectful, actually. Major League Baseball plans to hold a remote draft June 10th and June 11th. Good idea? Yeah, yeah I think it's the way you got to go. And the NFL, you know, they just had that draft, you know, a couple weeks ago, and it went, went, through, uh, went through pretty successfully. So, you know, just a copycat idea. I think it's a, but I think it's the right decision to make. Last Saturday, UFC 249 took place. The main event of Tony Ferguson versus Justin Gaethje for the interim lightweight title. What were your thoughts on the fight, Drink? Listen, um, <clears throat> one, my initial thought is for any fighter that think they can go out here and do two weight cuts, you, you're out of here. I, I think the two weight cuts, they killed Ferguson, man. He didn't look himself. They had a big effect on his performance. He was slow. He was sluggish. And if it wasn't for his chin being tougher than a two-dollar steak, if the fight would have got stopped earlier, um, he—he, he, I mean, it was a, a a test to his toughness that he lasted as long as he did. Hey, and and look, congratulations is owed to Justin Gaethje. He came he came with the smoke from the opening bell, so it was a well-deserved win. And now he get to call his shot. Legendary Rams running back Eric Dixon said the team's new uniforms look <laughs> they look soft. Do you agree? <laughs> I really, to be honest, I don't have much of an opinion on the uniforms, but I mean, they'll look, they'll look soft next season just by the way they play and the fact that there's a real possibility they could be in last place in that division. Ooh. There are rumblings coming from the NCAA football community that Alabama might have to change their first opponent of the season from Southern California to TCU due to COVID-19. Does that bother you at all, Drink? No, it doesn't. Um, I just hope that the powers at B – that they make a decision soon so these players can mentally prepare for whichever team that they eventually do play in a season opener. Saints coach Sean Payton said the NFL wasn't ready to handle the pass interference replays this past season. You agree or disagree? Uh, I absolutely disagree. And uh, I'm surprised that this type of comment came from Sean Payton. Uh, the NFL, 
listen, they were prepared. They were prepared, but um, they weren't prepared to take this seriously. We we know the NFL what did what didn't take this seriously all season. We saw some of the obvious pass interference calls, whether it was a no call or a call that didn't get overturned. NFL had no, they had absolutely no um, legitimacy or real reason to make this uh, a long-term uh, rule change. And we're not going to see this again because they made a joke out of it. Last one, tomorrow evening on ESPN and ESPN Plus in Jacksonville, Florida. It's a UFC heavyweight main event between the eighth-ranked heavyweight contender, uh, Alistair Overeem, and the ninth-ranked contender, Walt Harris. What do you got, Drink? Yeah, I'm going to go with Walt Harris on this one. He's the youngest of the two. He possesses a good amount of power in both fists. And at this point, I'm just looking at Overeem as a gatekeeper for the heavyweight division. I don't, you know, I just don't expect much out of him at this point. All right. Well, that concludes today's Drink of Wisdom. I'm Jay Wise. And I'm Nathan Drinker. And remember, make tomorrow better than today and make today better than yesterday. And you know what we're going to do. We're going to holler at you until next time, baby.